Well, today the tide was low, but the water was coming in, and it was coming in pretty fast. I kayaked under this bridge here to get a couple fish for dinner. I tied off, and I figured that the best place to throw my live crabs was into a spot where the water wasn't moving very much. Putting it in those little eddies seemed to pay off pretty good. This was going to be especially true when the tides really started moving. Well, here's a little tip for you guys. When you catch a fish and he swallowed the hook, you probably can't see inside there, inside this guy's mouth. Uh, the hook is way deep in there and I'd probably do some serious damage or kill him trying to remove that hook. So first I'm going to measure him up, make sure that he's not a keeper size. Well, he's a keeper. So um, I'm just going to throw him in the cooler and keep him because he's just over 12 inches which is the limit for these sheep's head. But if he wasn't and I had to throw him back legally, the best way to release him would be to cut that line. Just as deep as you can get in there, just kind of without cutting his mouth, cut the line and then throw him back in the water. Just make sure you have uh, non stainless steel hooks and that hook will rust out and fall out within a couple of days. I've seen footage of uh, fish under the water with hooks in their mouths so I know that they'll survive with a hook in their mouth. So just, uh, just a tip, we want these guys to be around so we can continue to catch them. So we got to treat them nice. do think that these little mangrove tree crabs are the best bait for sheep's head. They're tough, they stay on the hook pretty good. Um, I, I've used shrimp in the past and the sheep's head just seemed to pull them off the hook with no problems at all. These guys seem to be a little hardier. I've also seen guys out there using shrimp while I was using crabs and I'd catch fish after fish while the guys with shrimp were having no luck whatsoever. Oh, yeah. Now here again is a look at the tidal flow. It was starting to come in really strong. And the best place to put those crabs was in the places where the water wasn't moving. If I can keep that bait close to the wall, I get hits right away. Oh, <laughs> Chomp. I always try to think of myself swimming at the beach. If I was caught in a rip current or something like that, I wouldn't stay there. I'd get out of that current as fast as possible like where these little bubbles are right here. They're hanging out just like the fish do in the places where they don't have to expend a lot of energy. Oh, that's it. I've been robbed. If they're hanging out in an eddy, they could be fresh for a crab that comes along so that they'll be ready to grab it when they see it or they might be able to run if they see a predator. Those are the reasons why I always throw my bait out into the places where the water isn't moving. And I tend to have an awful lot of luck when I do. Eddies don't have to be a big area either. They might just be on one side of a pylon or the other, depending on which way the current is going. I think if you practice that, you'll find yourself catching a lot more fish.
friends, this is probably my personal best sheep's head. He is a big one. Holy mackerel. Look at those chompers, huh? That is a nice sheepy. He looks like he could tear that right up. Like tear up those pliers. Look at that guy. Boy, he's a big one. I'm gonna have to get a measurement and everything on this guy. Got it. Look at the little tiny hook to get that big sheep's head. I think that's a uh, number one. Okay. Oh my, look at my seat. What a mess. Glad I got waterproof pants on. So next time you're out onto the bridges, don't forget, check those little spots where the water is not getting to, like the yetis and up against the wall where the water's not moving very much. And uh, there's a good chance that there might be some fish hanging out in there, waiting for some food to come along. And if you offer something up to them, especially crabs, you might find yourself catching a bunch of sheep's head. Or snapper, or whatever else might be hanging out in the bridges where you fish. Anywhere in the world, I think, fish are going to hang out in those spots. They're all going to act the same, whether you're in Australia or in the UK or in the United States. All the fish, all the different species are going to act the same. They're not going to want to be out in the currents. They're more susceptible to predation over there. They're, they're expending all kinds of energy. The best place to find these fish hanging out is going to be where the water's not moving. When the tides pick up like this, so does the bite. But you don't want to have your bait out in the middle of nowhere. So give it a shot, folks. Next time you're out there and the tide is moving really fast, throw your bait up against a wall on the back side of a pylon. Chances are you're going to catch fish. back to you later.